On with uh, shell programming in uh, our Unix class, I'd like to demonstrate parameters right now in uh, shells. And we're going to start off by uh, creating a file. We're going to call it uh, parameters.sh. And uh, of course, the very first thing we put in is we put in our shebang, tcsh. And be sure to put in your comments. Uh, uh, tell us uh, who you are, okay? okay. Author, Doctor, Doctor Yuri Zhivago, okay. All right, so let's do parameters. Um, and there's uh, several uh, predefined variables that you need to use, and I'm just going to illustrate them just by printing them out. So uh, we're going to say echo. Uh, the uh, the uh, zero uh, parameter is always uh, the name of the file script, and we'll just say dollar sign zero. Okay, so that will print out the name. Echo and see the uh, uh, first parameter is dollar sign one. Okay, echo. Oops. The second parameter parameter is dollar sign dollar sign two dollar sign two and echo this goes up to nine by the way we won't go that far the third parameter and we will not put the per my errors in is dollar sign three which uh, may not exist if we don't put it in and we'll exit status zero okay. Let's save that. Control O and Control X. We're in Pico. We of course have to change it so that we can run it. 700 parameters dot uh, parameters dot sh. Okay. Now we're going to do parameters. Now to pass parameters, you just put them right here. We'll say one, two. We won't put in the third one. And here's what we have: the zero parameter is going to be the name of the file script, which is parameters dot sh. The first parameter is one, and it looks right. The second one is two, and the third one, we didn't enter it in. It doesn't exist. Well, let's go ahead and run it, and let's put it in there. Two, three. Okay. Okay. It's very good. It's three. Okay. Now, uh, we can actually um, uh, use the parameters to uh, display something. Now, let me show you how to do that. Let's say that one of the uh, things that I want to pass into the file is a file name. Okay, so let me go in and uh, let me uh, edit, let's say, the file here. And let's say that the fourth parameter, okay, is a file name. What I want to do is I want to look at the contents of it. Okay, so I'll just do, let's see, we'll just pick example 2.sh. I'm sorry, we put in the parameter name, dollar sign 4. And whenever we enter in the uh, file name that we want to show, the file name will take the place of the dollar sign four, and we'll see the contents of that file. Let's save it. We've already um, uh, changed the uh, permissions on it, so we'll say parameters and one, two, three, and then example two dot sh. So what we should see is our shell script that. Uh, occurred before. We'll see the one, two, the three, and then right after that is going to display the contents of that file, and that is the contents of that file, which is basically just a simple set name or a set uh, variable. Okay. Uh, a few of the other things that you can use uh, in shell scripts, uh, and I'll just uh, go back in here and show you. the. Uh, there are several uh, predefined uh, shells that you can use. Okay. Uh, the uh, dollar sign, <coughs> the uh, the dollar sign question mark actually uh, displays the exit status of the last command executed. Uh, so you can see if it was uh, done properly or not. And that can be used in an if statement. Uh, dollar sign dollar sign is the process number of the current shell, and uh, dollar sign exclamation point is the uh, process number of the last background command. So those also can be used inside of uh, shells to uh, display the contents or to uh, be used to determine if a um, 
uh, shell is being run properly. Okay. Well, this is uh, parameters in shell scripting. Now we'll go on to a little bit more complex uh, shell scripting examples.